Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to make a very simple yet so tasty salad that I absolutely love. This salad is a childhood memory of mine. Here's what you'll need. Cucumbers, two cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, black pepper, salt, white sugar, white vinegar, and one and a half cups of ice cold water. First thing that we need to do is come over here and we'll make sure your vegetables are nice and rinsed off. And we're gonna start to slice our cucumber, just like so. When you're slicing your cucumber, make sure your fingers are tucked in this way so that you cannot cut yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and slice them about this size, okay? It's not too thin and not too thick. Now this salad, you can make this salad in the summertime, in the springtime when you're having a cookout. This is one of the best salads to bring and yet, like I said, so simple. Um, it gives you like a sweet and sour taste. You get that sweet from the sugar and then you got the sour from the vinegar and you put that pepper on there, a little bit of salt. It's just very delicious and refreshing. What a great salad to make or to bring to a party. Let's cut these just like so. All right. And make sure your water is ice water. Okay, I find it keeps the vegetables very fresh and it kind of takes the bite. Well, it does take the bite out of the onions so that the onions aren't so pungent. Mmm, mmm, that cucumber is delicious. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut this other one. Now, if you wanted to, feel free to slice these a different way. You could cut them into squares if you want it. That's really up to you. Or you could peel these if you want it. Okay, it won't make the taste any different. Whatever you decide to do is just fine. Get this nice and sliced. Now tonight I'm making uh, fried chicken thighs. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes and we're gonna have this refreshing salad to go on the side. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's cut that little bit. Awesome. Here we go. Now for the onions. We're gonna, I'll show you. We're gonna kind of quarter the onions. All right, just like so. We, my, at my family, when I was growing up, my dad always made this. My dad had a, uh, he had a garden when I was growing up. And he would take advantage of using these cucumbers, these beautiful tomatoes and onions, and make a cucumber, tomato, and onion salad. Okay, see that? Just like this. Toss that in there. Awesome. I'm going to use one large onion and one small onion. I used the two large cucumbers. And we'll see how many tomatoes I use. I might use two. I maybe even use three. I love the taste of the sugar and the vinegar on these tomatoes. Oh, it gives it such a delicious flavor. Always fold your fingers in just like this when you're cutting. There we go. Just like so. Let me cut that off. Awesome. Just like this, guys. I was, last night I was in the bed and I was thinking like, I want to do another recipe. Today's Saturday. What can I do? Well, I went to the grocery store this morning and I seen these beautiful cucumbers and tomatoes and I said, bingo, I have to do cucumber, tomato, and onion salad. 
All right, I'm just taking the core out. Now we just sort of cut these in this manner, just like so, okay? And this is a quarter tomato. It's almost sliced. I think I'm slicing it more than I'm quartering it. <laughs> but that's okay. It's going to be tasty either way. Right? You know what? I appreciate you all have who have been watching my videos and who has subscribed to my videos. I'm actually over a hundred subscribers and I honestly couldn't believe that I could even get there. And so now I just want to take this time to thank you all for watching my videos, liking my videos, subscribing and sharing. Cooking is my passion and I'm always going to cook. I'm always going to cook. I'm always going to have fun in my kitchen and make fun videos. This right here, this is what I like to do. This is what makes me happy, guys. It's Saturday and I'm enjoying making this video. When I'm done with this, guys, I'm going to make a fried chicken video. <laughs> already have a fried chicken video, but I'm going to do another one because I'm enjoying myself. I'm having so much fun sharing my recipes with you all, hearing your comments. Okay, we're almost done with this. I'm not going to get too mushy on you guys, <laughs> but thank you all. All right, let me wipe my... Uh, cutting board off. I'll be right back. Okay, awesome. Now, let me show you what we're going to do here. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to taste this several times so that we can get the right flavor that we're looking for. Okay? Now the flavor that you're looking for, you're looking for a sour and sweet and peppery flavor. Now throughout the years, people have changed the original recipe and they started using, um, a, what is it called? Italian dressing. I've tried it that way and I don't want to use it. I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it the old time way. I want to do it the way that I grew up tasting. I want those flavors, okay? And I want you all to taste those flavors. All right, so now let's go ahead and put some black pepper in. Put a nice amount in, okay? Because we have a nice amount of vegetables, all right? And then we're gonna mix them in and get some pepper throughout the rest. Just like so. We're gonna put some salt in, but not a lot of salt. Just like this. Okay, now, I have one cup of white sugar. Let's start out with one cup of white sugar. It may look like a lot, but it's not. Not for this recipe, guys. Like I said, this is a sweet and sour. Okay, let's go ahead. And like I said, my water here has ice in it. That's a, a cup and a half of water. Go ahead and disperse that, just like so. And now what we wanna do Let's go ahead and start out with one cup, a little, just a little over, one cup of white vinegar, okay? Get that in there just like this, guys, all right? And as you can see, uh, let's see, let me show you. The liquid is right up to here, okay? I want to get my liquid up to here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me some ice. As you put more water you put more flavor okay just like so let's go ahead and put us a little bit more vinegar I'm gonna put another half cup of white vinegar all right and I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar all right let's see I'm gonna use our half cup all right 
I accidentally just put my sugar in with my oil. I had two tablespoons of olive oil in here, okay? And there it is right there. <laughs> you can see it right there. There's two tablespoons of oil. All right, now let's go ahead and mix this up very well. Just like so, I have my water up to here. That makes me happy, that way everything can soak down in there. And we're just gonna leave this on the kitchen counter for about 25 minutes and let it kind of marinate all through, okay? After the 25 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and cover this up with aluminum foil, put it in the refrigerator, all right? And just let it sit and let it marry all together. Let these flavors get in touch with each other. And when we taste this, guys, you will not believe the flavor. This flavor is so good. And actually, here, after a second, I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper. I'm gonna steer the bottom of this because I can hear that sugar. And I can hear the pepper. I wanna kind of dissolve the sugar a little bit, okay? So make sure you stir it up well. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit more pepper in here. I'm gonna give this just a little taste. Mmm. Oh yes, that's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for, guys. A little bit of salt. Just a little bit, okay? A little bit of pepper. Well, a nice amount of pepper, okay? You wanna taste that pepper in there, okay? They actually should call this sweet and sour salad. That's what I would name it. But they don't. They call it cucumber, tomato, and onion salad. <laughs> and like I said, feel free to use the Italian dressing. That's how, that's how they do it nowadays. But this right here, it doesn't get any better than the old-fashioned way. It doesn't get any better than this. Now, keep this on the counter for 25 minutes. All right, after 25 minutes, I throw this in the refrigerator and make sure you push it down this way. Push it down so everything can get nice and marinated. All right, once it marinates for about 25 minutes, we'll throw it in the refrigerator. And then after we put it in the refrigerator, I'll come back and I'll taste it and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Our cucumber, tomato, and onion salad has marinated on the counter for 25 minutes and then in the refrigerator for two hours. Let me show you what we got, guys. Mm, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite salads, guys. This right here, look at this. This speaks summertime. Oh, man. This speaks barbecue parties delicious guys give this a try my mouth is watering right now oh my goodness talk to any of your parents and your grandparents they'll remember this recipe right here they'll say oh yeah <laughs> you know people just you know sometimes they they don't make things the same like they used to i do <laughs> i do Okay, let's go in. I have to taste this. Oh my goodness, I'm, let's get some of the juice first. This juice, you can just drink it right out the bowl, seriously. It is so good, what a great taste. Sweet and sour. Even the onions, it takes that pungent off of those onions. Ooh wee. Oh man, I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Let me get a juicy tomato here. Beautiful onion another tomato, and just that two tablespoons of oil, that's just enough oil. Okay, a little bit more juice. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, here I go, guys. Let me zoom in. Mmm, look at that. Is that delicious or what? Okay, look at this. Where am I gonna start? Let's start with the tomato. Mm-hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, come to me. Come to me, cucumber. Mmm. Mm-mm. -mm. You got that sweet and sour. Mmm. It's tangy. It's salty. Mmm. It's sweet. It's peppery. It's everything you want when you think about a, a salad. Oh my goodness. Let me get onions. Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Love this guy. It's like absolutely. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I got a fork right here. But guess what? I'm gonna really sip the juice out of my bowl. Hold on, guys. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm. How delicious, guys. Mm, try this recipe. Make it for your family. Make it for your next barbecue. Your next potluck. I promise you, everyone will love this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. You wouldn't believe the flavor that comes off of these vegetables. Even the onions. It totally alters the flavor. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Tomato. Okay, I'm gonna eat this tomato and I'm done, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. And as always, if you all enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And as always, God bless. Have a great night. And thank you so much for watching. Mm, you guys are really, really going to enjoy this recipe. Good night.